So these past few days is the first time in several years that I haven't published a YouTube video every day, you know, let alone four days. And at this point in my life is getting so difficult and so stressful that I, I really don't care about anything anymore. And I'm about to just, I don't know, move to some country that has a low cost of living and disappear. Uh, you know, I've worked so hard that, you know, I, I don't know how much longer I want to try you know, a few weeks or a few months, uh, but there are definitely several things that have culminated to this point. Uh, you know, the main one recently that's been like the tipping point is the possible failure of Frankie's Sure Range Meat. Uh, you know, being scammed on Alibaba, you know, was another financial blow I couldn't take. And of course, getting sued by, you know, that rat scumbag that plagiarized my information is just, you know, adding more fuel to the fire. You know, so not only am I concerned about YouTube unfairly censoring and taking down my videos every day, you know, I have the luxury of losing money you know, when calling out these secret society assholes for the thieves they are and what they're doing. And, and that kind of brings us to what's going on in the world. I mean, I've said similar phrases to this you know, many, many times over the course of the past year. You know, the 1%, the elite, secret societies, you know, being the root of most problems composed of millions of people working together to do one simple thing, maintain control over the masses as the elite, as the ruling class. You have all this crazy symbolism. It's on the dollar bill. It's on the Frigidaire logo. I see it on my fridge every single day. Just about every car company has some type of secret society affiliated logo, an all seeing eye, a pyramid, there's a lodge in every town. You know, this isn't some college fraternity. You know, these people have been controlling everything for thousands and thousands of years. You have the monkey diet moron wearing a triangle shirt with Egyptian symbols. You know, Rat Boy has a triangle on his shirt. You know, he's also pretending he's sick, but apparently doesn't believe in it too much as he had no problem visiting a tribe one week later. I mean, maybe he wants to perform some anal swab tests on those African boys with his secret society buddies. You know, look at this fucking creepo, dude. And this involves removing the competition through any means necessary, controlling mainstream media, keeping secrets about how the world works, you know, in my case, plagiarizing and copying my material, emulating my business and my persona, and then censoring and shadow banning me when every other tactic didn't work. You know, yes, that ugly little weasel censoring this video right now that works at YouTube is a low level pawn that's pissing his panties. Maybe he should take another estrogen shot so the tip of his dick shrinks a little bit more. You know, the company Alibaba, of course, owned by a psychopath that has no issue scamming genuine businesses out of their money. It could also be insider trading like stock market, Bitcoin, ton of that nonsense over the past few weeks. Yeah, and of course, the biggest one is keeping the majority in a state of fear and panic. You know, that something is going to kill them if they don't wear a mask and stand six feet apart. You know, and that's something that's ravaged a lot of families lately. I think just about every family that isn't part of this group of secret society lunatics. From the people posting on every video I publish for pennies on the dollar, to the big nose rats eating caviar while they play with boys in dresses, you know, these people are a bunch of degenerate, psychopath, sociopathic losers who have never worked an honest day in their life. And actually, let me correct that. Some of them like boys in dresses, others such as the carnivores like hairy dudes in steam rooms. And there's all sorts of horrible activities associated with these secret societies far above what's happened to me, far above those childish jokes. You know, they torture people, abuse children, millions of lives have been destroyed at the hands of these evil people. That's why you don't know who the ones at the very top are. All social media influencers, anyone on TV, is part of this group of people. And whether they're directly involved in those activities or not is irrelevant to what they stand for. One very simple example of that is the hundreds of thousands of children that go missing in the United States every year. What are these government bodies doing? Police, FBI, they have to be complicit with it. They're owned by these psychopaths. And there's a reason it's called a police state. The will of the rulers is enacted by their police force. Everyone involved at every level 
would rather keep their mouth shut for a mediocre salary, a promise at a mediocre salary, rather than doing the right thing. With Frankie's Free Range Meat, with how much work I've put in for almost two years now, you know, having made no feasible progress towards my short-term goals, I don't think I can do this for another two years. You know, we've been buying meat from the same suppliers, we've been doing the same thing, the business has no profit, I have no assets, I can't apply for a loan, I can't even keep the employees on payroll and pay them a living wage. And with my current health and mental state, I don't think I can physically or emotionally deal with any of these businesses anymore. You know, none of them are doing well. You know, most of my income is still from my day job where my salary is around 45,000 per year. Uh, you know, but with all the money I've lost on my businesses, you know, there's a reason I'm living with my parents. You know, Wi-Fi shielding, I was sent BS fabric that was so difficult to work with that I broke even on the whole business. You know, Frankie's Naturals, I've made maybe $50 per week for the past two years. Organ supplements just started back up last month and I'm way in the red. You know, getting scams for $3,000 on Alibaba a month or two ago didn't help. And, you know, before that I actually paid $9,000 for a different order and they haven't refunded that either. But that $9,000, I was never sent the product. I just canceled the order and they're holding my money for no reason. You know, if that's the case, I don't know what I'll do. Probably definitely disappear. You know, I, I could have just worked my regular day job these past three years, uh, you know, would not have had any stress and uh, none of this nonsense. You could look at any other channel on YouTube. The amount of videos they publish, the quality of the content, they have far more subscribers, far more views, far more money, and they do far less work and have far less stress. You know, if I have no money and the progress is halted at this point, you know, with the current censorship, no potential growth of my channel, I just, I just don't see myself doing this anymore. I just really don't care. You know, that scumbag rat asshole is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, it's, as I said, it's a little bit of fuel to the fire. It's kind of ridiculous these secret society degenerates are so arrogant, they'll plagiarize you steal every business idea you've had, and then sue you. <laughs> then when you go to hire a lawyer, they're all a bunch of sauna buddies trying to milk you for every cent you own. I've already fired three lawyers in the span of the past two weeks because I can smell their dog shit on the collar of their untailored Brooks Brothers shirts. I haven't done an update on the lawsuit. Basically, he's just a greedy loser because he couldn't make enough money stealing my work and pretending to be me. You know, maybe he has an expensive taste in Brazilian boys. That's why he's in Africa doing examinations right now. Uh, you know, the YouTube censorship is just something I joke about at this point. You know, saying to subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. You know, I can't talk about any mainstream news topics anymore. I get a strike on my channel for speaking about something without even stating the word. You know, it's like I was banned for saying the sky is blue, but I never used the word blue. It, ridiculous. And all of this recent stock market stuff, market manipulation, has gotten me to say, what the hell's the point? You know, as I said, I'm here killing myself, and these scumbags are insider trading, betting left and right, multiplying their wealth by 10, 100 fold. You know, I did the video about GameStop last week, and as I predicted, Wall Street always wins. There was a bunch of assholes in charge, pump and dumping the stock, and, and God knows how much money the average person lost. You know, Bitcoin going up and down like crazy, people always telling you to buy when it's at the peak, then when it's down, they're radio silent. You know, artificially inflating nonsense currency like doggy coin as a one-off cash out. You know, I actually had an insider tip on the football game, the Super Bowl, a couple nights ago that the Bucks were gonna win. And if I wasn't broke, I would have bet my entire bank account. You know, literally at 5.30 p.m. before the game started, I knew Tom Brady was going to win the Super Bowl. I just didn't have any money to bet on it. Uh, here, here was the tip. Super Bowl 55 is the culmination of the 101st NFL season. 101 is the 26th prime number. Tom Brady last won Super Bowl 53 on the 34th day of the year. Now he will win his 34th playoff game in Super Bowl 55. I don't know, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Hopefully I can just stick to doing the daily videos for a couple more weeks, a couple months or two, and I'll start feeling a little better. But uh, I, I, I just really don't care at this point. You know, I'll find some country where the cost of living is low 
and just move there. And maybe a couple years from now, I'll come back. I don't know. I just, I just don't really care anymore. It was never about the money. It was never about all this nonsense. It was just about trying to help people and make people happy so they don't have to have a life like mine. But, um, you know, when no one really helps you along the way, I don't want to do it myself anymore. Thank you.